It's the classic struggle between the AFC and the NFC here on the Sega Sports Network. Thanks for joining us. I'm Dan Stevens, and with me is former lineman Peter O'Keefe. Well, Peter, what do you think of this matchup? You know, Dan, despite the setbacks that the Packers had last year with, you know, injuries, coaching controversy, et cetera, et cetera, I bet there's only one play that sticks in their minds. The final pass to the end zone by the 49ers that knocked them out of the playoffs. That is the fuel for the fire, and their thirst to get to the playoffs is stronger than ever. They'll go head-to-head -head with Kansas City. There's a new order in the Chiefs organization, Dan. New coaches equals new rules, like coaches have to keep offices orderly, players have to dress for practice correctly, etc., etc. The thought here is that professionalism and attention to detail will get the Chiefs back on track and away from their 1998 problems, such as leading the league with 158 penalties. I think it's a good move. Thanks, Peter. Tell the call. It is head. The, the, electricity. the Packers decide to receive the opening kickoff, and on come the return men. Aguiar signals the referee for the kickoff. And the kick's off. Arnold fields it deep in his own territory. an average return and then gets hauled down. It's first and ten. Nice penetration by the defense to stop them behind the line. Tackled by Patton. Loss of a couple on the play. Ball on the 32. A snap. Levens takes it wide right. He's going to feel that tomorrow for sure, Peter. Tackled by Woods. Gain of three on the play. Ball on the 35. Mays hits the pass. Tackled by Thomas. Brett Favre relied on his incredible arm for a devastatingly accurate pass. Great pass. Nine comes into punt after a three and out by the offense. and ten. Morris, straight ahead. He got several, but he goes down very hard at the end of that play. Tackled by Kuntz. A gain of three. It's now second and seven. for the short yardage tackled by Holiday. Gain of about a yard on the play. Ball on the 24. It's 10 and that brings up fourth down. George Kuntz 
Had a superb defensive effort there. The receiver would have been gone just like a train if the defender hadn't gotten his mitts on the ball. Aguiar, after a three and out, will punt it away. Howard will return the punt. And he picks up a little on the return before being tackled. It's first down, 10 yards to go. There's the snap. Levin's stumbling. Tackled by Browning. He is so hard to catch once he's got some room to run. So hard because he's got such speed that unless you corral him, he's going to sprint right by you. Dorsey Levens really showed some guile here as he suckered in the defense before tacking on that last burst of adrenaline. Ball on the 36. catches it. He's hit hard, Peter, but will be close to the first. Tackled by O'Neill. A gain of eight on the play. Ball on the 44. <laughs> Henderson carrying defenders. Tackled by Favors. Third and short is gut check time for a defense. Those defenders grit their teeth and made the idea of a first down a fond wish for the offense. Nine will punt it away after a three and out. And they signal for a fair catch. And it's down by the kicking team. It's first and ten. There's the height. Gerbach end zone. Anders gets the ball. Tackled by Koontz. A oh, great job by the receiver to cut back towards the quarterback to make that completion. Kimball Anders probably could have made that catch if he had kept going, but by ducking back upfield, he ensured that no defenders would interfere. Dan, that's a smart play that really cemented that reception. You can't coach field smarts like that. It's tight. Morris breaks through. He gets a couple and then gets killed. Tackled by Williams. Three yards on that play. Ball on the two. Alexander gets it. Tackled by Williams. Yeah, those defensemen really dug in their heels and made a stand. And that third and long is now fourth and gone. Aguiar. He's in the end zone and sets up the punt. Howard grabs it and reveals. He's at the 45, and at the end of the return, he gets taken down. First down, 10 yards. Far throws. Mays catches the ball. He just got the first. Nice job. A gain of 10 on the play. Derek Mays did a good job tucking the ball in after he made that catch. It was a great catch all around, Dan. Uh -huh. he, he must sweat stick him through his palms. Well, that's it. We're out of time. End of the first quarter of play. 
And we're still stuck at 0-0. Zero, zero. First and ten. Bar passes. Chamora catches the pass. Mark Chamora really put up a fight against his defenders there, shaking them off to get in position. Unstoppable, baby. Simply unstoppable. I just love that, Dan. Peter, I'm going to agree with you on this one. That was a great show. They're brand new, first down, 10 yards. Barb is going for the score. It'll be second down. That was a nice spiral, Dan. If you're a defender, it could have easily been picked off. Brett Favre did a poor job reading the defense on that play. You know, with so many defenders in that region, there must have been somebody open somewhere. Well, when a quarterback starts to panic, he gets tunnel vision, Dan. He narrows his options down to one guy in heavy cover. There's the snap. Throws to the left sideline. Henderson gets it. And he gets a few, but the D sure made him pay the price. Tackled by O'Neal. A gain of six on the play. Ball on the 11. It's snapped. Brooks grabs it up. That will be a first down, Peter. He just made enough yards. Brett Fogg caught his arm and unleashed a near perfect pass. The receiver only had to put up his hands. That's right. He must have crosshairs over his visor. With accuracy like that, the defense has their work cut out for him. Let's see if they can put it in. First and goal. Well, dragging defenders, and he's brought down hard. Tackled by Wood. A gain of three on the play. Second and goal. Lemons at the pitch. He stopped short of the line of scrimmage, tackled by Thomas. A loss of two on the play. Third and goal. It's too far in front of the receiver. Incomplete pass. It will be fourth down. Oh, that pass was just off. I don't know what happened there. Brett Favre really botched that pass. Whoa. It better settle down or he could do some real damage to his team by throwing an interception. Now, this is going to be an easy little chip shot, Peter. A 22-yarder. They'll tack three to the score. And we have our first score of the game. It's now three to zero. Longwell gives the referee the signal for the kickoff. And he boots it downfield. Over, fields the ball just outside his end zone. And he got an okay return, and then he's brought down to the turf. First and ten. Passes downfield right. It's second down. The Roy Butler 
prevented a completion there. The receiver had it served right to him. The difference, Dan, between getting the ball and getting a penalty is just a fraction of a second. Fantastic timing by the defense. It's second and ten. Gerbach tosses it right. Locked it, catches it. Peter, after picking those yards up, he is just ground into the turf. Tackled by Williams. Gain of close to eight on the play. Ball on the 31. That will be a first down. Bam Morris just brutally rejected the defender with that stiff arm. Wow. First and ten. There's the snap. Gerbach with the dump off. Morris gets the pass. Tackled by Newsom. Oh, what a nice catch there. Bam Morris snagged that ball for a key reception. <laughs> this guy's got dynamite hands, yeah. and he knows just where to be on the field to make the play. Ball at the 38-yard line. Now we have the two-minute warning. Second and about six. Lahite catches the ball. Oh, great yardage, but man, I'll tell you, you Time can out. feel it up here. Back here by Butler. The Chiefs will take their first time up. First and ten. There's the height. Warren past the line. And they get a couple, Peter, but that was a big hit there. Tackled by Donson. About two yards on the play. The Chiefs take a timeout. That's their second. Second and about eight yards. It's them. Gerbach goes center field with the pass. Alexander was the intended receiver incomplete. That will bring up a third down situation. Elvis Gerbach just seemed to panic on that play. He threw the ball into a sea of defenders. Oh, Danny was just lucky that wasn't an interception. Those linemen must be fuming that they couldn't get that pick. Ball on the 49. The snap. Passes downfield left. Lockett was the intended receiver on the play, but it falls incomplete. Fourth down. They really failed to make any headway all through that series. When that happens, you get stuck in a third and long situation. It's pretty tough to convert on that. We've got to get something going. Aguiar stands back and will punt it away. It's high. First and ten. There's the height. Barb throws to center field. Freeman gets the ball. He's way past the marker. First down. A gain of 20 on the play. What an accurate throw by the quarterback. The Packers take their first time out. Brett Favre really zeroed in on his receiver on that play. He's formidable when he's on his game, and he definitely is today. It's all about accuracy and focus. 
first and ten. Henderson finds a gap. William Henderson is loving the blocking he's getting. Well, all he has to do is follow the huge surge up front. He basically gets sucked forward with the whole line. The Packers will take their second time up. Ball at the 45-yard line. Far passes left. Henderson catches the ball. First down. First down, four more tries. Levens gets the toss, punches a tackle away, tackled by Faber. The Packers take a timeout. That's their final one. Dorsey Levens showed with that move that he's a physical player as well as a finesse runner. I'll say, that defender was looking through his ear hole when that play was over. I can hear the little cartoon birds tweeting from up here. Ball at the 39-yard line. And after making just a couple on the play, he's really nailed. Tackled by Patton. Body yard on the play. Ball on the 38. it that's the 30 that will be a first first and ten there's the height far stops the clock that brings up second down it's now second and ten through the line. Six yards on the play. Ball at the 24-yard line. The snap. Favre stops the clock. That will bring up fourth down. It'll be a 41-yard attempt, easily in his range. But it's still a one-score game, six to zero. Longwell signals to the referee for the kickoff. And he kicks it away. Nice little pickup on the return. It's first and ten. <laughs> Durbach downfield to his right. And it's the end of the half. And we have a close game. Six to zero.
Longwell signals the referee for the kickoff. I'm told that Michelle has a halftime update from down on the field. Michelle? Dan, I did manage to catch up with the coach of the Packers at halftime. He said that the team is playing according to game plan, but he also emphasized that they will need to keep the pressure up throughout the second half to come away with the victory. Thank you, Michelle. It's first and ten. going to feel that tomorrow for sure, Peter. Tackled by Morton. Three yards on that play. It's second and about seven yards. Gerbach way down the left sideline. It's third down. Who was he throwing to? I didn't see a friendly face among those guys. He's got to pick his shots a lot better. Elvis Gerbach was this close from throwing an interception on that play. Some quarterbacks believe in their arms so much that they can't see what's in front of their face. That pass was doomed before he threw it. Ball on the 25. There's the snap. Throws it left. It's fourth down. Elvis Gerbach must have really been rattled on that play. I'll tell you, that ball could easily have been scooped up by a defender. Oh, big time. Maybe he got a little, hit a little too hard earlier in the game and went colorblind for a few minutes. I don't know. <laughs> Aguiar comes into the game, and he'll punt the ball after a 3 and up. Behind. Howard feels it. He's at the 35, and he'll pick up a few on the return before being tackled. First down, 10 yards. In snap. Levins bustles through, and he's met face to face at the line of scrimmage. Tackled by Thomas. A gain of maybe a yard on the play. Ball at the 35-yard line. Levin through the line. Big hit after picking up a couple. Tackled by Thomas. Eight of a couple on the play. Ball at the 37-yard line. Far passes it left. Brooks has the pass. Robert Brooks used his hands to catch the ball, and that's how you want to do it. Shift to the hands and then bring it into the body. That's right, a smart move to bring the ball in and protect it from the defender. First and ten. Lemon cranks the tackler, and he's level. He'll lose a couple. Tackled by Thomas. Loss of about a yard on the play. Second and about 11. You can't touch me. Yellow. 42. Yellow. 42. Levin flips past the line. And he got several, but he goes down very hard at the end of that play. Tackled by Edwards. Gain of close to four on that play.
Ball at the 38-yard line. it left incomplete pass he led his man on the pass but by too much that will bring up fourth down oh there's one that I'll bet he wishes he could take back that throw went absolutely nowhere Brett Favre threw a pass that really didn't seem to have much behind it the receiver never had a chance at oh it. it's all about discipline no matter how bad the pressure is a quarterback has to relax and throw smart passes or he's liable to throw an interception And it rolls out of bounds, pinning them deep. The Chiefs will go on offense, but will start deep in their own territory. It's first down, 10 yards to go. What a big loss, and what a monster hit we just saw. Tackled by Harris. A loss of eight on the play. Ball at the three-yard line. Gerbach over the middle. Gonzalez yanks it down. And he will have enough yards for the first down. A gain of 20 on the play. That ball was drawn to the receiver like a magnet. That quarterback has really got an accurate arm. First and 10. There's the snap. Rocket pulls it up. Tackled by Button. Ball placement is key for a good quarterback, and we just saw an example of that. He put the ball... Elvis Gerbach made a terrific toss on that play. He put it right in the receiver's hands, Peter. Dan, he's the kind of quarterback who almost never makes a wild throw. He's always calm, controlled, and lethal. Throws middle. It will be third down. And he threw that football like my paper boy throws my Sunday paper. I guess he figured that if he can get within the side of the porch, it's good enough for him. Elvis Gerbach did a poor job reading the field on that play. The ball was up for grabs, Peter. Dan, he's just damn lucky that a member of the secondary wasn't one of the ones who grabbed it. Otherwise, he'd be warming his buns on the sideline right now. There's the height. Looks, then throws center field. Oh, look at that big, fat zero in the interceptions column. One bad pass can really turn on you. But so far, he's throwing nothing but good ones. First and ten. The snap. Calling the tackler. Great read by the D to stick him a few yards back. Tackled by Koontz. About a yard loss. Ball on the 48. Looks, then passes right. That brings up third down. Ball at the 48-yard line. Behind. Gerbach passes it middle. It will be fourth down. Aguiard is in the backfield and sets up the punt. It's tight. And they call for a fair catch. And it falls out of bounds after a nice high punt. The Packers will go on offense. First and ten. Here 
we are at the end of the third quarter of play. And the game is within striking distance. Six to zero. It's second and eight. first. A gain of 11 on the play. And it's all about accuracy. He really hit the bullseye on that throw. Brett Favre put that football right in the hip pocket of the receiver. Oh, I think some of those receivers ought to be drawing half a paycheck this week. He's making it too easy on them. Oh, you think so, huh? Yeah. Are you willing to take a pay cut on the days when I'm saying all the brilliant stuff? <laughs> and when would that be? They're brand new. First down, 10 yards. On the pitch. Ooh, they make him pay the price for the short yardage. Tackled by Gray. A gain of three. Dan, look at how their game has slipped since the first half. They've got to figure out a way to regain their stride. Second and seven. a few but the D sure made him pay the price tackled by O'Neal a gain of four he just does not cough up that football all that often man you can't coach that ball on the 39 Fourth down. Dan, a quarterback cannot let a pass like that leave his hands. It's a wasted effort, and some light-fingered defender could pick it off. Brett Favre took a chance on that play. He must have felt that he could thread the needle through that coverage. Well, I tell you, he was wrong. He's put an awful lot of those balls inside the 20. That's perfect field position. And no crazy bounces into the end zone or out of bounds. There's the height. And he picks up a couple on the return and then gets brought down. First and ten. There's the snap. Morris throws a hand and he's brought down hard. Tackled by Williams. A gain of four on the play. They've only allowed token running plays. By keeping the pressure on, they prevented the offense from chewing up any yardage on the ground. Ball at the 26-yard line. Gerbach tosses left. Morris pulls it down. And after making just a couple on the play, he's really nailed. Tackled by Koontz. A gain of one on the play. Ball at the 27-yard line. Sturmbach <laughs> throws to center field. Dan, you can see how effective they are at preventing any pass position. They provide solid coverage both around the receivers and around the QB. Yard is going to punt it away after a three and out by the offense. It's snapped. Howard gets the punt. He's at the 40. And he gets a nice little pickup before being taken down. First and ten. The snap. Barr goes center field with the pass. 
Mays was the intended receiver on the play. Incomplete. Second down. Brett Favre really made a poor choice with that throw. I'll tell you, anytime you give a defender a turnover opportunity like that, you take your life in your hand. Second and ten. a couple and then gets killed tackled by Woods gain of three on the play ball on the 42 from the toss. Robert Brooks is still on the ground after the play, Peter. Looks like it may be his elbow, Dan, and I don't like the way he's holding it. This could be serious. Nine is going to give the ball away after a three and out. out of bounds after a nice punt. The Chiefs send their offense onto the field. It's first and ten. Durbach tosses right and he gets his hands on it but it falls incomplete. That will bring up second down. Derek Alexander has some of the quickest reflexes in the NFL, and they almost got him a completion on that play. You know, any coach loves to have a player like that, a guy who can switch gears in an instant when the ball squirts out kind of funny. Ball at the 15-yard line. Behind. Gerbach looks, throws long right, and he throws it incomplete too far in front of the intended receiver. Third down. Elvis Gerbach threw a poor pass that should have been intercepted. That's right. If the ball was intercepted, it would have been six the other way. Ball on the 15. There's the height. Passes right. Fourth down. Nice one. It's all about timing for the secondary. He knew just when to get his hand in there and bat away the football. Tyrone Williams. Swatted down what surely should have been a catch. That pass it should have been right in the receiver's hand. Yeah, that's a really smart play by the defense. He was really walking on eggshells there, breaking up the play without drawing an interference flag. Aguiar is going to punt it away after a three and out by the offense. Powers will return it. He's at the 40. It's a short return, and then he gets brought down. One minute, 57 seconds to go. The snap. Levin's pass is right tackled. Tackled by number 21. That was a great run, but the offensive line really held the door open for him. The Chiefs will take a timeout. That's their first. Dorsey Levens saw the opening in the defensive line and just motored right through. Nice execution by your friends on the offensive line, Peter. Beautiful, Dan. Just one minute and 51 seconds remaining. There's the snap. Nice to the hole. And he's pounded to the ground, but will be close to the first down. Tackled by Thomas. Gain of close to five on the play. The Chiefs take their second time out. Ball at the 48-yard line. Levin's down the head. He 
just past the marker. That will be a first down. The Chiefs will take a timeout, and this one is their last one. I'm sorry, but third and short means the defense didn't do its job properly on the first two downs. They need to slam the offense back into third and long situations and then beat them down. 140 on the game clock. Heels down. It'll be second down. One oh seven to go. Far deals in the backfield. That will bring up a third down situation. Just 21 seconds remaining. Barr takes a knee. It's fourth down. The Packers win the game, and I am sure that they are very, very happy with their performance here. Your final score. Six to zero. And that's it for us here. Without any delay, we send you back to our regularly scheduled programming.